Thank you so much for your uh, coordinations. So let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Joseph Ma. You can call me Joseph whenever you see me later. Oh, and right now I'm also at the staff, uh, one of the director working at the Office of International Affairs at National Taipei University. So our abbreviation is NTPU. So um, for the first 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes, I'm going to give a, a brief but a, a overall introduction about, okay, I, I will give a short introduction about NTPU. But later on, uh, we have other people, other folks from NTPU who are going to introduce themselves and also introduce their programs, which include Dr. Li Peifen. And Dr. Li works for the College of Business. And she is an assist assistant professor from the College of Business at NTPU. And also we do have uh, Dr. Chen, Chen Shuling. She is a director of GMBA program at NTPU. And later on, we have uh, students from Thailand. She and he is also a student from GMBA. She is going to uh, introduce and to, 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 to share his or her uh, experience about living and studying at, at MPU. And, and for the last five minutes, we are going to have a short Q&A to see whether there are any, we, we, can, we can try to collect any questions. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to let us know so that we can answer you. So as, you, as, as far as you, you, you can see uh, from this slide, uh, this represents our main gate of NTPU. And we historically, we are as we are established in 1949. So this is actually an old school. We always, always call ourselves an old school with a new spirit because originally we don't call ourselves NTP, we have other names. And most of our parents or aunts and uncles, they they know this school because it's, it was very famous. But starting from the year 2000s, we change our name to NTPU, but because we have a whole long history, that means that we have a very huge alumni systems. So a lot of alumni, they work either for the, as a, um, as a staff member or as a um, G, uh, CEO at a, um, uh, many business areas. And we do have many alumni who work for our government, who even works for as a representative of our legislation union. So, um, here's uh, more history of NTPU, but uh, the, another thing, important thing about, about NTPU is that we belong to the university system of Taipei, if you can see here, that is the logo here. That means that there are four schools, which is in, in the northern part of Taipei, which belongs to the system. And if you are one of the members of the system, that means that you can think about to take progress in outside of NDPU, so even borrowing books from other schools' libraries. So it is kind of, kind of very, for me, it's very exciting. And there are a lot of opportunities for you if you become a student at, at, of NTPU, because that means that you not only can use our resources, but you can also use resources from another three schools. Okay, so the next slide is here represents our locations. We, we are located in the, um, in the northern part of Taiwan. And we are not very too far away from our international airport. But the most important thing is that we are not too far away from our downtown Taipei. So the main campus is at the Sansha district. It's in the new Taipei city. And our second our secondary campus is in the Zhongshan district. So that, that means that if you want to uh, go to downtown Taipei to enjoy something to drink or to meet friends, to have a fine, to have a good restaurant to, to eat, it's only like uh, less than 30 to 40 minutes of, of uh, driving or take, if you take back, take back the bus, it's less than 30 minutes to help you to move from our campus to the downtown district. It's very convenient, but at, at the same time, this main campus is not very crowded. That means that if you come here, you will find out that this is a very livable place, affordable housing price, rental housing price. And uh, it's like you enjoy my relatively greater space to live. And so that is a very ideal place, just like a suburban area of the United States. I would use this way to, to describe. So we, we are a middle size of university. We have about around uh, 10,000 more students and uh, 1,000 staffs. 
And for now, we do have around five to 600 international students. A lot of them comes from Hong Kong, Malaysia, and Macau, but we do have several other another students who also come from the Western nations as well. So this is our, our thing of Office of International Affairs, just like he, he was not able to come here today, so I'm, I represent him. So because when you come to NGPU, maybe your first or your second step is to come to Office of International Affairs. We have a lot of uh, staff here. They are ready to help you guys. But here we, we, we have these like uh, three directors, including Professor Dai Lianma, and me and another professor, Fu Zhenghao. And as you can, as far as you can see, we do have um, a, a director who comes from the Netherlands. So in our school, we try also try to recruit more professors from different areas of specialization. And they are not from Taiwan, they are from the Western or other places, other countries. So here is just a brief uh, introduction about our college or departments. As far if you are interested, not only college of business, you know, our school really focus on interdisciplinary training. That means that you might be considering to take a program in the Department of Statistics, but at the same time, you want to minor in the Department of Public Finance or in the Department of Law. So there are a great variety of you to choose. So we have the College of Law, College of Business, and College of Public Affairs. And our College of Social Science or College of Humanities are also pretty strong. And we do have College of Electrical, Engineering, and Computer Science. And also we have we are proud of our International College of Sustainability Innovation, which is 100% uh, of English programs. So here represents several English language de degree programs, including the Master Program, but Business Administration, International Program on Urban Governance, Smart Healthcare Management, and also there is another PhD program in College of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. So, and we do also have lots of international collaborations. Right now, for at, at, at this moment, we have about 204 sister schools across the globe. So, and we also try to enhance students international collaborations. Not only you might consider to go abroad to have an exchange program, or maybe we, we, if possible, if you, if uh, um, maybe we also consider that you might find out uh, opportunities to study abroad to join the international conference, or even to have a chance to collaborate, to have a research collaborations with professors within or outside of NTPU. So, and we also now, nowadays, we try to promote dual degree program. That means that within a very short period of time, you not only get a degree from NDPU, but you will also get a degree from other schools. For instance, for instance, Temple University, Boston University, and here for the College of Business students, the University of Manchester School of Materials, School of Materials and Singapore Management University is just name a few. So uh, let me just jump to the last part. So this is a bird overlook, uh, overview of our campus. It's a very beautiful campus. As you can see, the College of Business is on the top, the top side, the middle top of the, the, the pictures. And the International College of Sustainability and Innovation is on the lower, lower button and the lower left. So, and here is our library, our stadiums, our dormitories, and many beautiful places on my lake. So I think that uh, because of the time constraint, my introduction is will end here. So I thank you. Hopefully you will consider NTPU. So Nate, uh, now, um, I think now is the time for uh, our Professor Lee to share your experience, right? Yeah, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Maureen Peifang Lee. I'm the Director of the International Relations for the College of Business. Um, I have a chance to um, introduce my college, and this is the outline of my briefing today. But first of all, the, the vision of the college, uh, you can see from here, but we focus on the red words, which is um, we aim to foster professionals and the future business leaders for enterprises, so that we actually aim on actually training our students who have professional skills to be able to perform well in their future careers. And we, our mission can be divided into five parts, and these are all for our students and for our teachers. 
we are we have got ACSB accreditations, as you may hear from other universities talking about that. So in short, that means that uh, the College of Business at the NTPU actually are one of the top five university uh, uh, business schools in the world. So we have been re-accredited since last year. So this accreditation will last for five years. And the accreditation actually means the qualities of our teachers, um, assessments for our students, support for our teachers and students, and the interaction with the industries are actually recognized by an international body for the good mechanism to maintain a good standard. So we have actually more than 3,000 students in our college and accounting for actually around a quarter of students at the NTPU. And the students spread out into five departments um, for the undergraduate programs, and the four of them we have the master programs. And three of them have in, in EMBA programs, and two of them have PhD programs. We also have two independent uh, graduate institutes to provide a master program. We also have two separate programs for the people who have other commitments, uh, so they prefer to take classes in the evening and weekends. So from this um, structure, um, we are introduced um, four other centers, which actually basically for our teachers to um, research on specific areas so that our students could benefit um, from the results of the research as well. During the time with the NTPU uh, College of Business, you can also actually uh, take some non-degree programs. Um, they, they are mostly interdisciplinary uh, programs, so that we collaborate with College of Law and the College of Electronic Engineering and the Computer Science. The programs such as the financial related, business related, accountancy, entrepreneurships, um, CSR, and so on. So these are the programs you can actually take while you are with us. We have very good connection with the um, industries that benefit us from teaching and the research. So that uh, companies such as the big four accounting firms, uh, in international banking in industry, investments, uh, companies in the hospitality industries, the big names and the local companies. So these practitioners would help us in teaching. So that actually would give us advice on uh, when we design new programs and the courses so that our, the content we provide to students could, are able to help students to get the uh, skills and abilities that the, the industry desires. So we also invite those uh, practitioners from these companies to become our clinical instructors in our teaching so that our students would actually gain academic knowledge and as well as the practical knowledge in these subjects. The students also have the chance to work on internships or these uh, practical projects with these companies. In terms of the research, we work with these companies on topical issues and the results and the insights will actually benefit for both of us. The industry uh, uh, practitioners are invited to give seminars and the forums to our students and teachers so that um, they share their front light challenges and experiences with us. Yeah, so that our students can stay competitive. So um, very quickly talk about our internationalizations. So we focus on these three parts. First part exchange program, actually um, earlier we mentioned about the partnerships um, in the uh, university level. In the college level, we also have these universities. So that means the students, students have the chance to go abroad to uh, study in these universities, but at the same time, the students from this university can come to uh, Taipei University and so that we could ha actually have an international environment just within the campus. And we also provide EMI courses. So that means that these courses are provided in English. So far, we have uh, half of the academic uh, staff actually graduate from foreign universities, so that uh, one third of them offer EMI courses. So far, the latest figures that 14% um, of courses at the uh, undergraduate levels 
were expected to have become 16 uh, next year, and 17% of courses at the postgraduate level. So that we expected actually in the three years time, uh, actually around 20% of courses are actually um, in English. The courses we, um, the areas of subjects we provide are actually quickly have a look. We have these organizational subjects. We have uh, more than 10 um, courses at both at undergraduate and the postgraduate level. And the financial subjects and marketing subjects and the common subjects like this. So that we have quite a lot of uh, courses provided in English. We have actually international visiting scholars um, joining us actually on a regular basis. So this eight scholars actually just an uh, example of last year's speakers. And some of them actually come here every year. So that actually give us our students have the chance to learn from a different different perspective. And the last but not least, uh, as we mentioned earlier about our, our alumni, we have uh, quite a lot of uh, alumni working in the government as an uh, important role. And also the people who work in the industries are also our alumni. Yeah. This um, it is my um, short introduction of our college. Thank you. And next, I think, um, is it um, Shuling, um, director from the GMBA programs? Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Shuling Chen, the program director of MBA in finance. Um, here, I'm going to share uh, the information about our programs. Our program actually it was launched in 2003. 13 and it was established in college of business. And as the uh, Professor Lee just mentioned, uh, we also are the ASSB accredited uh, programs. And then uh, our program are fully supported by the faculty in the college of business. And then this is a completed English taught program. We recruit the international student only. And more important, and this is the first MBA program with concentration in finance in Taiwan. But in order to provide a better environment for our uh, global student, and we moved the program to International College of Sustainability Innovation in 2009. Uh, 2019 and this is a photo that you can see in our program so we try to we try to create a very friendly and then very uh innovative environment for our students and then uh, you can see that next that our faculty there are many coming from the college of business and the majority of the faculty they re receive their phd degree from abroad and then we also have our curriculum and then, as I mentioned, in our curriculum, we focus on the finance track. So, uh, as you can see, that all the required courses, we have financial management, financial institution management, financial econometrics, investment, financial derivative, and financial ethics. We cover all the uh, sort of the main aspect in the finance part in the required courses. And then for the students who don't have a finance background, and we also offer prerequisite courses such as economics, accounting, calculus, for students to uh, get familiar with the uh, study so they don't feel like uh, um, the program was uh, super new and then they cannot um, connect with the study very well. And then we, in addition to the, the required courses in our elective courses, we also f offer two different track finance elective and also management elective. And um, as you can see, we have so many different courses and uh, based on the students career track and then students have a different desire for their career plan. So if they are interested in the corporate finance I can go to the next slide if they are uh, interested in the corporate finance and then they can take the different courses and then if they are interested in the financial advisory and the consulting they can also take different relevant courses and all the courses are guaranteed to offer in our programs so we make sure that students can receive the comprehensive training uh, through the programs and the uh, Tuition in our school is very affordable, and then our living cost is also um, uh, compared to other country, it was uh, cheaper. Um, because this is English taught programs, so I think that um, 
um, consider the tuition fee is very competitive even for the student in Thailand. And we also offer the housing and then our on campus accommodation is affordable for the student as well. And we also offer the scholarship. Our scholarship, we have the full scholarship, partial scholarship, assistance. Uh, ship. It's all available for students to apply. So if students, they are qualified uh, to compete for the scholarship, you are always, op um, you are always welcome to, to apply for the scholarship for that. Um, in addition to that, uh, our program also offer the dual degree program with Neoma in France, and then uh, this is a quite outstanding university uh, in France. And the student, if they are interested in study abroad, uh, this is also another opportunity we offered. And in addition to all the courses and uh, um, uh, required by our programs, we also offer uh, the business visits and then cultural activities for our students. Um, uh, for the student, uh, we would like to offer the opportunity for the students in Taiwan to collaborate with um, sort of have the interaction with the local students. So we uh, every year we at least have the three or four uh, business. Uh, visit or cultural activities for our students, and we also offer the internship opportunity for the student, um, especially if student had they have a very good uh, Chinese skills. Uh, usually, they don't have a much difficulties to apply uh, to to get a nice interns opportunities in Taiwan as well. And so, in general, why do you want to study in? Taiwan, why do we want to study in NTPU? Because we have the great reputation and we offer a good quality of education. And we also have a very friendly and a very nice environment for the student to study in Taiwan. And then we also have the free Chinese courses. And then um, we have at least the four to six uh, Chinese courses for students to choose. And if you are the Muslim religion, and then you can, uh, we also offer the Muslim prayer room for the student uh, to, to, to do that. So, in general, then I must say that our programs, we offer a very uh, comprehensive course curriculum. And then we also offer uh, many opportunities for our students. So, if you have a more, um, ideas and if you have more interest or questions about the GMBA program, you can go to our, our website. Um, the next is uh, our website information. So uh, you can visit our website and all the information will be there. And then the next I will want to turn the time to Serena. Serena is a student from our GMBA program and then she is also from Thailand. I think she can share more with you about the interest of studying in Taiwan, studying NTPU and the GMBA program. Thank you. สวัสดีค่ะสุกิปนะคะก็อยู่ปีสองค่ะตอนนี้เรียนที่คณะ in Finance นะคะเอ่อไม่ใช่ว่าคนที่ไม่ไม่ได้เรียนแบบทางด้านบิสเนสมาทางปอตีจะจะเข้ามาเรียนไม่ได้นะคะก็คือสามารถเข้ามาเรียนได
เอ่อทางด้าน business company แล้วก็เน้นเรื่องของ culture ด้วยทำให้เราแบบว่าเออได้เข้าใจเอ่อ culture ของคนไต้หวันเช่นทำชายยังไงหรือว่าเอ่อได้ทำทายสับปะรดอย่างเงี้ยค่ะก็เพื่อนๆในคณะนะคะก็มาจากเอ่อหลากหลายประเทศด้วยกันอย่างเอ่อ,อในของปีกีมหาก็มีมาจากทั้งเอ่อเยอรมันอินโดนีเซียเวียดนามก็หลากหลายมากก็คือถ้าเรามาเรียนที่ออคณะนี้ค่ะก็คือนอกจากจะได้ภาษาจีนแล้วเพราะว่าเออมหาลัยก็ออฟเฟอร์คอร์สภาษาจีนให้เป็นเราจะต้องเรียนเออภาษาจีนหนึ่งภาษาจีนสองค่ะแต่ว่าทีเนี้ยเออเหมือนมหาลัยเขาอยากให้เราได้ภาษาจีนเพิ่มมากขึ้นเขาก็เลยเปิดเป็นออคลาสสอนก็เป็นภาษาจีนสามภาษาจีนสี่แล้วก็ในอนาคตจะมีถึงออภาษาจีนคลาสหกคลาสเลยทีเดียวค่ะก็เออเราก็สามารถได้ทั้งภาษาจีนแล้วก็ได้ทั้งภาษาเอ่ออังกฤษด้วยเพราะว่าเราก็ต้องคุยกับคนในคลาสด้วยอะค่ะก็เอ่อคณะเอ่อมหาลัยนะคะอยู่ซันเซียแคมปัสก็จริงแต่ว่าเราสามารถเดินทางเข้าเมืองได้สะดวกมากเพราะว่าจากมหาจากหน้ามหาลัยอะค่ะก็คือมีทั้งแบบรถบัสแล้วก็มีหลายสายมากที่จะสามารถเข้าไปที่เอ่อในเมืองได้อะค่ะซึ่งใช้เวลาประมาณสี่สิบนาทีก็ถือว่าไม่ไกลแล้วก็ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ลำบากอะไรค่ะก็มหาลัยก็ค่อนข้างใหญ่ทีเดียวก็คือเดินออกอลังกายได้จนแบบเหนื่อยเลยอะไรอย่างเงี้ยแล้วก็เออที่หอนะคะมหาลัยเนี่ยก็ออฟเฟอร์หอหอนายให้อ่อในหอนายเนี่ยก็จะมีส่วนของส่วนกลางก็จะมีห้องครัวแล้วก็มีห้องสตัดดี้รูมด้วยอะค่ะหอนายก็สามารถแบ่งเป็นทั้งหอเอ่อหญิงกับชายเนี่ยจะอยู่แยกกันก็มีทั้งหอยกเว้นหอใหม่อะค่ะที่เอ่อจะแบ่งชั้นเป็นเอ่อสี่ชั้นห้าชั้นแรกจะเป็นของหอชายส่วนเอ่อชั้นที่หกถึงชั้นที่สิบอะค่ะจะเป็นหอหญิงก็เอ่อนอกจากนั้นแล้วนะคะทางคณะเอ่อ GMBA in finance เนี่ยยังมี facility room ให้เราได้ใช้ด้วยเช่นจะเป็น lounge room เป็น study room เป็นเอ่อห้อง conference room ที่แล้วก็ meeting room ค่ะที่มีเอ่อทั้งคอมพิวเตอร์แล้วก็มีเครื่องปิ้นให้เราสามารถปิ้นงานได้ด้วยค่ะก็เอ่ออันนี้เป็นเอ่อห้องสมุดนะคะของมหาลัยก็จะเปิดเกือบเปิดทุกวันเลยก็ตั้งแต่วันจันทร์ถึงวันอาทิตย์ไม่มีวันหยุดเลยค่ะแล้วแต่เวลาก็คือเราเนี่ยสามารถเข้าไปใช้ฟาร์ซิลิตี้ที่นี่ได้ด้วยค่ะก็มหาลัยประมาณนี้ค่ะ